I, I suppose like my heart was sitting out here for that last quarter um for me our focus especially with today was starting well and i think we did that and that set the tone for us going forward um defensively we got a huge amount of ball and i think this week in particular we weren't the best on attack but i think we were more clinical than we were last week so that's a plus that second quarter really pushed yeah. it out didn't you and uh, i think you scored 90 mm -hmm. Goals 19, in that 10, one, yeah. Really set it up well for you, didn't it? Going into that second half, yeah. And I think it's just once they find that rhythm and connection, and they can see all the options, especially in attack, they can play beautiful netball. It's those in between moments, those sticky moments where they don't really have the courage or they haven't quite got the communication um, through to be able to figure out what's happening in the moment. But yeah, that second quarter was outstanding, and I think that just set the tone going into the second half. There's plenty of smiles out there today. I could see Joyce and yeah. Harry giving each other a little smile when things worked well today. Is that pleasing <laughs> to see that they're out there enjoying it and it just helped, doesn't it? Oh, I think they got a bollocking in the first quarter because there was too many uh, reactions to the umpire. So I was just like, can we take the emotion out? Can we just play? If we get caught, it's a smile. Where do I stand? Or if it's a really good play or passage, can we celebrate it? So I think that might have been the turning and <laughs> why you saw so many smiles. When you picked up that many times by the umpire, how does that impact on your players then and their, um, how they attack that match? Yeah, I think it's huge. And, and we talked about, especially today with Mavs, we have to stay in the contest, stay in play. Um, they love the physicality, they love the body, so we have to get off it. Um, so that was key for us. Um, but when you're doing that, you've just got to adjust quickly. Um, you've got to listen to the umpire's calls. I think they're really turning the screws in the second round, coming in, um, making sure that players are clear and listening to them. So I think it's good. It makes it clear for me as a coach what I need a coach and how the game's been appreciated. We've talked about this before, the fitness of your team. Yeah. They all played the full match today yeah. and they were still going <laughs> for it at the end, still fighting. Particularly as you saw with yeah. Joyce getting that last goal. Um, you must be really impressed with how they've committed to that, that fitness this year. Yeah, and I suppose when it's a value of ours, we have to live and breathe it and we have to be able to walk and talk it. So for me, we have to implement it every training. It has to be something. And I really drawed on it going into the second half. This is where we level up. This is where we push away. And I think they've done all the hard work. Sometimes they just forget what they've done. Um, and then when they come in here, this should be the fun. So for me, that was a real inspiration coming into the second half that we know we've got the legs. We know we can grind it out. We've just got to stay in the moment.